Uh, there is a shocking theme of people getting broken up with on Valentine's Day. It's insane. Let's go home. Happy Valentine's Day, Tillies. Happy Valentine's Day. And if you're looking at the calendar and you're like, it's not Valentine's Day, you're late. Oh, oh, right, right, right. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if, yeah, if you're on upload day, it right. is currently, presently yeah. Valentine's Day. Um, today is Valentine's Day. If you're listening to this uh, on schedule. And if you are listening to this on schedule, I don't know if you knew this or not, but you are our Valentine. That's so nice. Yeah. That's yeah. so nice. We're doing, we're, we're handing out Valentine's Day uh, invites right now to you. Passes. Passes. I don't know how Tickets? that works. Tickets? Yeah, I don't know. Subscriptions. Ooh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. We will actually like on real Valentine's Day, we will be on a plane back from Zach and Maggie's wedding. Ooh, a romantic. Happy Valentine's Day to us. Yeah, but it will have been a romantic weekend. Yeah, yeah. We actually, we're going to stay one extra day, but with like all the dog drama, we figured that we shouldn't, we like, it's this, it's not the time for us to be like laying on a beach. Everyone's fine. Everything is chill. If, if you don't know about the dog drama, that's the last couple episodes. It's just all dog drama. Um, but we figured that it, we should probably just get back to regular life. I mean, it's it's difficult, I feel like, when you give the kids to anybody who's not you to watch to be like, okay, thanks for, you know, yeah. keeping them alive. Yeah. It's nothing to be like, I mean, so there were there were the seizures. So we had a few seizures. And there was the, um, there was the-, the We've got some eye drops. We've got a twice a day diarrhea. med. <laughs> perpetual. That's fixed now. We fixed that. And give that's the minutes. other dog. <laughs> give it 10 minutes. But it's like, you just like, it would probably be best to not just be gone. Right, right, right. right. So we're um, headed to Mexico for the weekend. Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. My first time. Punta de Mita. I'm probably saying that so wildly wrong. Now say it one more time. No, that's okay. <laughs> we don't need that on the internet more than once. <laughs> she said Punta de Mita. Punta de Mita. Yeah, you sound like someone going to the Chipotle for the first time. Well, it would be, it would feel wildly racist to try and say it in a Spanish accent because that's one thing well, that we I all truly- noticed, We all know you didn't even attempt. No, no. Yeah. And I don't think that that's, that's the move for me. I also think that, and I don't know, we've probably covered this before, but I, I've never met anyone who speaks less Spanish than Lauren. We don't learn Spanish. Like some people do take Spanish as like a random elective because- There's gonna be so many people in Canada that are like, what is this bitch talking about? No, no, but the second <laughs> the secondary language in Canada is French. And right. like literally the primary language of Quebec, I think is French. Right. So we learn French as like it's our certainly, default second language. I, it, when you go across the border and everything, every sign mm -hmm. is in both languages. Yeah. Uh, it's not like jarring, it's just like it feels international when the rest of Canada does not feel international. No, well, you even think about packaging and I think this is specific You wanna to, start off the episode talking yeah, about CPG? Yeah, fucking hot fire, yeah. let's go baby. I don't know what you, guys, what you guys have planned for your Valentine's Day, but if you could just- If you wanna talk about packaging. Put that shit on ice for a second. <laughs> We're gonna talk about multi -li multilingual packaging. When I did um, the line that was in Walmart Canada specifically, it had to be in three languages. Everything on the packaging had to be in French, English, and Spanish. And Spanish. Do you know? how tedious and how much space tiny little text takes up when you have to do everything in three languages. One of uh, my dear friends from uh, my elementary school through, mm -hmm. Alex, his dad, his entire like profession is to oh, translate yeah. instructions right. for like they do for like Boeing, but mm -hmm. like for like highly critical, like making sure that every single translation right, translated all properly. lines up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, I mean, not to, not to drive everyone out. Yeah, but I mean, think about how many French and Spanish speaking Tillies, well, I guess they would be Lord DIY fans at the time. Okay, well, we don't care about them as much, but for Tillies. <gasps> um, you take that back. I take it back. Take that back. Actually, international fans are my favorite. I mean, yeah, shout out Lavia. Like anyone who's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my time in, in my second language. Oh yeah, is wild. That's amazing. It's truly wild. Yeah. We're watching a physical 100 right now, which is a truly incredible reality TV. How would you describe it to somebody who, well, hasn't seen it? Um, it is about 98 of the most physically fit and strong Koreans, Specimens. both female and male, plus I think one black guy and one white guy. Yeah. Literally yeah. one black guy and one white. So 98 yeah. Koreans, yeah. one black guy and one white guy who yeah. are all athletes. They're CrossFitters. They're like yeah. ex-Olympians. White folks, got, we got a diversity hire in there. Yeah, for sure. He's the yeah. baseball player, but 
everyone, what I was gonna say is that every single person speaks Korean. So like the white guy, I think his name is Dustin Nippert or something. Yeah, he's baseball a player, baseball right? player. Yeah. And he speaks Korean. He is like the whitest looking white dude in the entire world. He sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh yeah, yeah. hardcore. You know what though? It is probably so fun for him to hear people talk shit in Korean about him. Like probably oh, like, yeah. because he sticks out truly like a sore thumb. If, if he walked- and then he or, could yeah. be, he could like respond in Korean. That's like my dream to be oh able to God. like have that ability. Yeah, have Instead, that ability. I just have to um, assume that they're talking shit about me right. and give like still friendly looks just in the event that they're not. That they're not, exactly. Right. Where he has the superpower of speaking Korean as well. Yeah. Anyway, it's an incredible show. It's a reality TV of like, I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily like finding the strongest person. I guess it's like the most well-rounded, strongest physique endurance person. Well, it's like Squid Game, but nobody dies. Squid Game, but nobody dies. Uh, that's not true though, because some of that was just like, you don't need any physical strike. Remember the cookie one? Where you had to use the pin to get the cookie out? Yeah, but you had to have, like, have, to have like, like precision motor skills. Yeah, but like I could do that. I can really do a push up. You think, they, actually I could see that. You'd be actually like- really, Are you kidding? I'm, that, that, I'm, I'm built for that. Small, little, nimble motor skills like that. Do you that? think that you could beat me in a game of operation? Oh, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you want do you want to put a wager on that and do that between now and next week? Yes. Okay. No, we're going to Mexico, but after that, yes. <laughs> we bring Operation to Mexico. You, you we're without, playing Operation on the plane. <laughs> like you know that with my hands. Like you've seen me try and write my own name. Oh yeah. And it's like it just doesn't translate. It's like there's just something that does not connect from your brain to your hands. Right, something like, gets lost. Like I know what J's look like. I know what E's look yeah. like. R E M Y. Yeah. I, you know what's funny? I uh, I I got a recent uh new uh I recently renewed my passport. Mm -hmm. And what I realized is like, I forget that when you you get a new passport, you have to like sign your name, oh, yeah. write your number yeah. and your email. And I was thinking to myself, 10 years ago, all of the information that I gave is all wildly incorrect. And by the way, like my emergency contact, I should look at the old one. I don't even know who was listed as it, but like <laughs> if you called them today. They're probably right. like, yeah, he can figure it the yes. fuck out. Uh, I'm sorry, you want you want me to, to fly where and deal with that? No, I'm okay. But you have to sign your name. And I was like, you know what? Just before I give this a rip, I'm just gonna do a couple just practices. That's probably a good idea on this for you. little this little envelope yeah. over here. Yeah. And I tell you that each one progressively got worse, um, uh, culminating and mm. with a big old climax on my passport. So it looks like I forged my own name. I mean, yeah. I don't even look like, like I actually know how to use my right, own signature. Right. That's yeah. okay. No, like one day I'm gonna be arrested. Like, sir, come with us. There's yeah. no way that you could this possibly is identity be fraud. this fucker. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's tough. I just don't know what happens. I am flying literally across the continent so that I can go to a nexus appointment so that I can make traveling easier immigration wise for myself because Jeremy will literally end this engagement before we even get married if I do not figure it out. There are few things that frustrate <laughs> me more than when one person in the group who has the means, the time, the ability, all the things, the capability of not being a giant pain in the ass is a perpetual pain in the ass. And I think I've, I've I've related this. Um, it's me. Well, I've said it before, but I think it would be easier to travel with a, 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 a suitcase filled with heroin right. than it is to travel with Lauren because all of the visa, uh, immigration. I'm literally classified as an alien. You're classified as an extraordinary individual. Alien. Sure. It literally says alien But an in extraordinary my individual. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's adorable. Uh, you and Justin Bieber. But yeah, uh, so I'm gonna need you to go get your Nexus. So that yeah. way me with all mm -hmm. of my global entry mm -hmm. and all of the things already, I got clear. I, I'm not I somebody- clear. You can pay for, you can just pay for clear. Remember the day you were like, you were you made us like late as hell or like there was a huge line or something like that. I would never make us late in the actual terms of getting to the airport. Right, well, long story short, you were like, I, I can't do clear. I, I can't do it. I go, let's just try it. Let's just try it. And then it turns out it's like $150 and then you can also have clear. <laughs> yeah, and I love it. everyone in the comments is like, but now they have my your face. They've had my face. Oh my God. Have you been into a Home Goods? They have your face. <laughs> yeah. Have you been into a Michaels? Yeah. Have you been into a Target? Have you traveled the Have you traveled ever? Yeah. I have no. Have you been arrested for stupid shit? Well, yeah. that one I'm still looking at. Yeah. Uh, You'll get there. <laughs> well, when you are, you'll be glad you know, you have someone with you that knows what to do. Anyways, I am flying across the literal continent and uh, getting my nexus, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's gonna happen, I feel it's, good about it. I feel good about it too. I feel good about it as well too. And then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna feel a lot better about traveling with you anywhere, knowing that it's not gonna take us four hours. I don't understand why more people don't do it. Like I know why I haven't done it because it's been a pain in the actual it, ass. It's a pain in the ass for everybody. 
I guess I have an extra hurdle. Right, you have one extra hurdle. I have one extra hurdle, but it's a it's a large hurdle. Like yeah. it's it's a sizable hurdle. But like you notice, like most people, just like they like look up and and like they just do what's whatever's natural to them. I guess like, filling out all that paperwork is not like a, a thing that you would do unless you know it's a thing. I guess because I not everyone shares the same level of. Uh, like airport anxiety that I do. Right. Maybe they don't even think about it, but like I want to do everything in my power to make the travel experience as smooth as possible. Which is why I've been so on you to be like, you need to go do this. Because yeah. yeah. similarly to how I am in every other walk of my life, I don't really get anxious for certainly not airport mm -hmm. waiting. I get annoyed. I get aggravated. Jeremy is the worst version of himself in an airport. Literally, if one person takes a little too long, like getting their shit in a bin, in the, in the security, it ruins his whole day. Like so, I, I would, I'm gonna give Jeremy at least 45 minutes of silence and space for him to get past that. So like, I am- <laughs> Other now, people's incompetency. Well, I don't mind people who, now, if you're in a wheelchair, you're gonna take longer, I get that. Now, if you have got six kids and, it, yes, you're, you're wrangling, yeah, you're, of course. I get that. If you waited- No, no, it's the person who's like, the laptop is still in the backpack. They're trying to send that through with the iPad, with the Nintendo Switch and 14 water bottles. With the AirPod, what? What? I have to do what? Huh? And you're I, like, is this your first time traveling? Well, it's like you, you get up to the, 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 like the gate, or sorry, the, the, um, you get up to the metal detectors and it's like, you've got people yelling at you. And like their first day on the job, they probably weren't, screaming the same mm -hmm. three things over and again. But that, now that I said it a thousand times, people don't listen. No. It's like, I I get it. I'm like, that. this is this is an effect, not a cause. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited for the wedding this weekend though. Do you want to know something interesting is I was thinking about this be uh, before we hit record on today's podcast. I remember at some point last year, just like, just silently thinking to myself, being like, I wonder if I'll be engaged by the time we go to Zach and Maggie's wedding. And here I am, engaged. Totally. We did a thing. <laughs> Um, this is our first Valentine's Day being engaged. Yeah. I have wildly low, like, I, like, I just feel like we're not gonna wanna do anything. Well, like, I'm kind of gonna bundle this weekend, Valentine's Day Yeah, let's wise. just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't we, while we're at another wedding that's right. happening on Valentine's Day weekend in a beautiful resort in Mexico, do right. that. We'll do our Valentine's Day on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Honestly, it's the cool kids are doing anyway. Yeah, 100%. I mean, speaking of, do you feel like you've in the past been a big valent, like do you put a lot of weight on Valentine's Day? Um, no, 100% no. I So I went on to um, Good Influences podcast and we are, I think this, I think their episode is also coming out on Valentine's Day because we did a Valentine's Day themed episode as okay. well on Good Influences. And I was trying to explain how I think I tried to reverse psychology myself into saying that I had super low expectations because I was trying to convince myself that I did have low expectations that I would never be disappointed. Ah, that sounds like you. Super like, healthy. Like to a T. <laughs> like, that sounds like, like Lauren would like a, a month before just about anything be like, well, I know that like this probably isn't gonna happen. So every day I wake up and think to myself, it's okay if all the things I care about don't, don't actually happen. happen. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? It's like, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm, he I'm hearing you. That's about right. That's about right. No, but like I'm only saying it because that's exactly what I want to be okay with. <sighs> it's like that's it's, that's what it is. It's like if like Zoloft was a human. That I I well that's an SSRI. I did my time on Zoloft. I did my time on SSRIs. We've moved over to the SNRI. Uh, sure. Um, I think it still stands. Right. Yeah. No. No. I I've always tried to convince myself that I need to have zero expectations. And that, ladies and, and gentlemen, then, <laughs> is how I found out I had a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> because on anything above the the bar being on the ground is very exciting. And you too and can listen, learn how to gaslight a woman. I think that everyone I should. Like, you came to me this way, okay? I did not make you this. No, this. no, 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 no. This wasn't. Yeah, this. Yeah. Is, again, this is the this is the uh, effect. Might I say the bar was on the ground when I got here, and I said, "Do you want to like put that on something? On something? Do you yeah. want to raise that a little? Do you want to like?" Get a I, small platform. I just want to say that I think that my mindset is wildly unhealthy. And right. I want all of you to hold your expectations much higher than mine were. Yeah. Uh, well, I think I think there's there's uh, there's some good and bad in it. It's not all bad. It's not all good. No, no, no. Yeah. Th th there's some pros. There's some cons for sure. Um, but no, I've never been a big Valentine's Day thing. I think that like I I so. Spoiler: We put out a little crowdsourcing to see if any of the Tillies had 
Um, any horror stories from Valentine's Turns Day? Turns out they do. Turns out they do. <laughs> Turns out that there are some major patterns and I can't wait to get into those. I love everybody else's drama. Oh, like, not do. my own. But oh, yeah, like, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm, no, no. I'm like, every once in a while, I'll like, we'll do one of those. I did it like, yeah. the other day. Yeah. And someone would like respond with like a, a an answer. And then I'd get a, a follow up to that in my DMs. Like, so sorry, I didn't mean to write you a book. Mm -hmm. Here's another, no like a novel of, of context. And I'm like, love that's it. perfect. Yeah. No, I love no, it. No, no, no. I, I want you to so do much. that. I want you to be yeah. too much in my DMs. I, the, 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 the limit does not exist. The raw feelings that like people have. I just posted yesterday how, like, remember when my DMs were accidentally completely shut off and no one could respond to any of my DMs? Um, or no one could DM me, no one could respond to even a story because oh yeah. I accidentally had them shut off and it was absolutely heartbreaking. And then when I learned to turn them on, I was like, oh my God, people do actually have, like, uh, uh, like they wanna, they wanna talk. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, I do remember the time when I sent you a DM hmm. and the response I got was air. Um, but it wasn't seen, it just wasn't read. Because that's when I also didn't know about the other the other like folders. Wait, it wasn't seen, it just wasn't read? Like, you know, when you when you open a DM, it uh -huh. says seen down at the bottom? Right. Like there wasn't a red receipt. Right. Because I hadn't opened it. Right. Is what I'm trying to say. Right, okay. There's four different fucking folders of DMs and messages on Instagram and it is- I alerted you to one the other day. I just learned about a new one the other day. Like I literally, it's Lauren so, snapped back at me. Oh my Ooh. God. We we had done that pre-order uh, like discount thing. And I was like, hey, is anyone gonna answer these like last 10 and the like the DM request requests? And you were like, those never mean anything. Those are always spam. We'll throw up 10 out of 10. All real people. Absolutely all untrue. Requests. Not all real people. Well, we'll never know. It probably catches. No, what do you mean? We will know. I went through all of them. It probably was like twenty-five to thirty-three percent spam. But I just don't. Percent good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so then I sent all those DMs I, out. I rest my case. But like, I genuinely don't understand like why Instagram tries to filter. It, it just it's just so wildly wrong. Anyways, there's four folders of DMs. If if you're, is there four folders? Four folders for everyone? Do you think? Wow. Not relatable, Lauren. Um, yeah, I do think there are. For, I, th I think there yeah. are many. I think there are many rungs to it. It's like all requests, top yeah. requests, hidden requests. I, you know what? I wish that you could just like um, you could customize it. It's like I want to see at a, at everything. I want to see the bots. I want to see fake stuff. I want to see none of it. I want to see a NSFW folder, a non NSFW folder. No, I folder. just want like a fold. I want. No, I, I want to be able to, you to be able to make those calls yourself. I want to just have the inbox of people that I follow and the inbox of people that I am not following. But then like just no filter through all that. Hear me out. What if AI got so good? that you could basically say, okay, I want all the responses that are gonna make me feel good. Mm. I wanna make all the responses that are critical. Mm -hmm. And I want mm -hmm. all the responses that are someone's penis. And then you could just like mm. auto filter it. Speaking of penises, yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys have noticed, the Adderall shortage is still in effect. It's, it's going strong. I, I'm about to go over to wherever the fuck the factory is and ask if they need some help. Just knock on the door. And just, could you guys get some help? Because yeah. I would love to lend a hand because until this gets done, I'm not gonna do anything productive anyway. But what I was saying was, remember the guy used to send you a picture of his weenie every day? Yes. He stopped. He stopped. What he happened? Did. I don't know. Hey, fellas, if you're listening, he must have if you guys could pick up the slack. It was on, it was on Twitter though. Yeah. yeah. It was on Twitter. I guess gotta be, but it was public too, right? Just tag oh, yeah. you? Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he like, he, he at, added me yeah. on Twitter just with a picture of his weenie every did day. Did you ever check Micro penis. He, and he was like really only to you, right? It was kind of a dedicated yeah, feed. Yeah, it was a dedicated thing. But I don't know if it was actually that guy. Like, I don't know if the account sender holder was actually correlated the with holder. the penis holder. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You think he was sending somebody else's nude? It was like a random micro penis guy that I feel like I've seen in DMs in past times. It was like a famous guy. He's got quite a reputation. He's got a quite a micro penis reputation, right? So but, I don't know. I don't if know. If you're going to do was, anything, do it well. Do it well. Yeah. Do it well. I would, if I had um, a micro penis, and Jerry's still out if I don't, but if I did, I think, you know those guys that do the fun beards with like the the, the glitter and all the other oh, things? Oh, the glitter beard? I would do like a like a wreath. Oh, a glitter bush. But like a wreath. Around. Yeah. See, I, I just feel like that would, because then the micro penis might be flush with the no, wreath. Don't, listen, it's not. I'm not trying to look impressive here, oh, okay. but like it would be like- Just trying to be decorative. Like one, it would be like, you know, in like Christmas, think about like like Felice Navidad themed, yeah. and then you've got like white Christmas themed, mm -hmm. and then you've got mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, like country themed, little boots, hat. I love decor. That's what I'm saying. This is a group project? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. You know what? I love that you're trying to get in touch with your arts and crafts side. I it's as quite I've, exciting. As we've, as we've now discussed, my favorite is like the one or two comments that are like, so like, what the fuck is he doing if he's unemployed? I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you'll see soon. Uh, but yeah, it's like kind of, I feel like I'm, I've been so tied up in work since, well, since I've been on this podcast, at least. Mm-hmm. People are just like, is he gonna be okay? What's he doing? Is everything all right? Days are shockingly full. Full. You know what though? There was a there was a period at near the end of January when I had started working that Jeremy was quite literally doing nothing except for just following me around the house, which is normally reverse. Like normally it's vice versa. Well, the great Adderall shortage of 2023. The great Adderall um, shortage of, of 2023 was really, really was well timed at the same time that Lauren decided to start working again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we got shit, we got shit in the works. I know. We got big shit in the works. I know. And then we're gonna tell you none of about it right now. Nothing. No one likes that. No, no. One, don't be that guy. Everybody hates don't that. Don't be that guy. No, like I, it's, I trust me. The, the thing I'm trying to like work on is is thread the needle of, uh, there was this guy I, I listened to that seemed to know what the fuck he was talking about. So mm-hmm. I'll just pretend like that's the right thing. Who was like, the more you tell people who aren't gonna keep you accountable or aren't gonna be close to the process about a thing that hasn't happened yet, mm-hmm. the more, um, false excitement or false like, uh, like- Like hype? Yeah, but like endorphins and serotonin like they go off to like oh, feel yeah. like you're like getting yeah. out in the world, but you really aren't fucking doing anything. You're right. just talking about a thing you haven't totally. even done yet. Right. So right. it's like right. best to like only be, like only bring it out to the world almost mm-hmm. when it's ready to get feedback, get criticism, right. like really right. actually right. 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 gather that. Otherwise yeah. you're just kind of like just hot air. Right. Nobody likes that. No one likes that. But no you know what people do that. like? These blankets. No, you know what people do like are the delight crew necks, the blankets and the bandanas. Yes, and the bandanas. of course. I saw some comments. We're, we're gonna get some reptiles soon. <gasps> reptiles and bandanas. Yeah, yeah, I'm I saw some so reptiles. Excited. And I saw a lemur, a lemur is coming. Yeah. yeah, a lemur. I'm so excited. Yeah, I almost said leper, which is, if you're wondering, mm, not, not the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah, Not the same thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so not that Fanjoy didn't believe in us, but well, I CEO think- CEO Chris called me. Really? And said, do you think that you just have a future in full-time blanket sales? Cause he's like, you guys have sold- That's so nice. Uh, bleep this, dollars worth of blankets at this point. So it's like, we have crossed well over into the cross in blanket sales. That's so exciting. Yeah, blanket sales. Blankets are quality and also an investment that people should make. Do you think someone's ever had sex in a blanket? For sure. I think I can get that over and gotten that. There's a bull terrier who has both the original Wild Till 9 blanket, the new Wild Till 9 blanket, the and the bandana. Collection? The cap, the whole, the know, whole collection. Is this the one I just followed on Instagram the other day? Yeah. In got, San Diego? Got, got, got-ty. Yeah, got it. Goaty. Yeah, yeah, picture, got, picture here. Here on screen, adorable. Yeah. Adorable bull terrier. Yeah, I mean, adorable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So and, cute. And like, we, I love to see the growth too. Um, yeah, so fa- not that Fanjoy didn't believe in us in terms of like the delight sweater. CEO Chris would never not believe in us. But they were like, they were like, okay, so here's how much we're gonna stock in the inventory. And I was like, that's that's not enough. And we doubled that. That's so. not enough. And so anyways, it's still available for pre-order because y'all went unexpectedly feral for the sweaters. Yeah. Um, which I'm really excited about because it is truly an incredible sweater. It went so well that my dumb ass who is, goes, I think we should like do one more dirt, like like merch drop this year and do a three as opposed to two and wait for the second one. People be like, yeah, I'm still kind of like, getting my use out of the delight. That's because you're a fucking delight. Well, I can't wait for Donna to find out that you shifted her um, little- Donna little, will little never. Clip. Never know. I'm telling Never her know. at the engagement no, party. No, 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 no. That's a terrible idea. Have- also, we are. I we. I am um, in the weeds playing the engagement party, and I told I'm I'm supporting the weeds. Supporting the weeds from the distance. Yeah, yeah. That's really fine. How many times have I smiled, nodded, and paid attention when yeah. you asked me to do a thing? I haven't asked you to do that much, but. Yes. And that's why it's yes. going so well. And that's why it's going great. Yeah, yeah, this is best of both. No, no, everyone's happy here. This is ideal. Did you, um, want, to sing, you want to sing the best of both worlds? Because every time I hear I those words- the the there, like, Did I miss a note? I think I missed a note. No, those were perfect. <laughs> uh, there's some little words and phrases that no matter how long and how yeah. old I get, yeah. I, I, I assume that I'll be in the nursing home, just probably you know, barely yeah, getting along. It's like, oh, you have the best of both worlds. worlds. And I'll just go, Miley. set me up. Um, what were you saying? My entire family is going to be in town that week. Um, so is mine. And so, so is Jeremy, Jeremy's, Jeremy's. So just is me's. Jeremy, just, just me. Jasmine's. Um, and- Literally, they, the cousin I haven't seen in 25 years is also gonna be there. Lauren's gonna meet oh. more, more people in my Wait, family. Wait, is he coming to the engagement party? She. She? Well, they, they are not. Oh, okay. I was gonna yeah. say, you didn't add them to the RSVP list. 
See, fellas? Uh, no, they, they're going to be the weekend before. <laughs> okay, great, great, yeah. great, great. So great. you can put your attitude back into your mouth. My, you, the, <gasps> so rude. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm in planning mode. Um, We're going to have to put like, start putting like a, 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 a disclaimer on our TikToks that it's sarcasm mode. Otherwise, I'm just going to be shot in the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. Um, but at least I'm engaged. So we've got that. Yeah. Uh, I think some of the life insurance is sent over to you at this point. Oh, really? Yeah. Starting wow. to, starting to, yeah. That's so exciting. Well, well, I don't think I have life insurance. Great. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a scam. Um, the, uh, look, going back to me before I just railed, derailed or disrailed? Derailed. Derailed. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Disrailed, uh, your train, train of thought, the engagement planning. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 so you're, you're looping, looping back now. I'm circling back. Got it, got it, circling got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. We went to go see the venue. It was super, super cute. Um, I picked a great spot. Yeah, I'm you did. really excited about it. That I somehow never been to. That's in the middle of In the middle LA. of LA. Yeah, yeah, like in a very like popping area. It's like a really cute, like off the, it, well, no, it's on the main strip, but like, it's like a cute, quiet little situation. Yeah. Um, You know what I have realized is that like, I think I saw this in a TikTok. Is that, so Good. like, we're gonna do like a cute little toast and have like a little cake or whatever, and it'll be cute and decorative. But people have recommended to like, the hack is to do just like a sheet cake right. in like the same flavor as the decorative cake, but just do a really small decorative cake for like right. photos and cutting and then have like the actual sheet cake That's, for cutting. Yeah. That is so much smarter. I just feel like I've seen on, so let's many. Try it, let's try it again, and I'll, I'll uh, this time. Yeah, I'll, you said nod and and smile. No, I, that I was, was you. That you was oh for I was, I was terrible. Show, I was showing my my experience privilege there. Right. I I I did. That. I just feel like when you see wedding cakes, they're just so huge with so many tears. You're like, God damn, that just feels like a lot. I can't remember how many tears my original uh-huh. um, cake was. Uh, engagement party cake was, mm-hmm. but it yeah. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. There's also the option to do cupcakes. We might, we might go down that road as well Yo. too. Cause that's almost easier for cake cutting. Cause I think that- well, I'm, I'm gonna have to text the show boys. A lot of restaurants will do like a per person cake cutting fee. So right. like literally if it's like a cake cutting thing, $5 per person, which ends up just being like stupid. It's so like if to avoid that, we just do cupcakes. I'm gonna, I know that I, uh, and if you're in Vegas and you want some damn good cupcakes, show boys bake shop, holy shit, the best. I'm gonna send them a text and see if they could be around. Okay. Yeah, because I just feel like if, they, if, if we're gonna do it, we should do something fun. Oh my God, yeah. We're gonna yeah. do just a, uh, although I do, oh, it should be fun funny on the inside. Except for the problem with them is they know me from my second days. So does that mean that we have to trade a performance or something? I, and by we, I mean you. Well, well they don't know that you're not a performer. <laughs> do you, you put me <laughs> on stage, baby. Yeah, no. You got the best. <laughs> Honestly, if we don't have a, a performance at some point in time between now and we're married, I feel like we're missing out. A performance of what? I'm not sure. I've never thought about this ever, mm-hmm. which is uh, kind of shocking, but also not really. Are we going to do like a like our first dance? Mm-hmm. Are we going to like practice and work with somebody? Like, are, are we going to call Kyle Han- like Hanagami and be like, hey, we need- <laughs> won't take me on as a client. <laughs> He's tried to teach me a TikTok dance before. <laughs> That's just a bad idea. You don't think if I called Kyle and, and pleaded and begged and I would say, hey, I know Blackpink is calling, but right now but we need you. Please, please. I feel like Kyle would only do it if he gets to like, if we if we commit to having a little, add a little flair. A little flair? Like, well, like a little twerk, a little mid twerk? I love that idea. What else I love is do we dance to some Blackpink in our first dance? Do I we do a full medley? Yeah, I mean. Like Blackpink in your area. Mm. Do we have Blackpink on <laughs> the the show? Um, think about it. I mean that 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 would be ideal. I don't think um, I don't. I, I mean I know that our family would not appreciate that as much as we would, but that would be quite exciting. I mean for the the thirty seven people that are under the age of no 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 like they're probably like it would be the majority of people that were young. Uh, no 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 majority yeah. of people yeah we yeah. have we have very young small hip, families maybe young hip cool uh, friends. friends yeah, yeah sure yeah. okay. I, but I mean, by the way, I think doing dance lessons with you would be one part hell and one part really fun. It would be so fun. Yeah. Do you think we'd be like, um, like good? No. Do you think we could get good? No. Really? Do you think, do I think we can get okay? Yes. Okay. I yeah. can't, I'm not going out there on stage with you if we don't have our shit together. What do you mean one on stage? Why, why do we have a stage? Like, do you we'll just be, mean like the dance floor? Right, but yeah. it'll, it'll be a stage. Okay. If okay. there's a microphone and Jeremy's on it, it's a stage. Jesus Christ. 
Wow. If, if there's no microphone, there's a stage. In fact, if, if there's no stage, no microphone, and everybody else is talking, it's a stage. It's still a stage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Spoken like a true extrovert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just get really anxious. Uh, I... <laughs> No, I, it's people you were, were used to being like concerned. Like, Jeremy, you're going to go on stage soon. You know that, right? Y yes. Are you nervous? No. Do you know your lines? Not really. Okay. I love that for you. Aspire to have that, that much, uh, I can't that wait. little anxiety. I can't wait to vow off with you. To vow? Why are we trying to make it a competition? It's not a competition, but like there's two vows. People hear both. Yeah. It's their prerogative. A vow off. Yeah. I suddenly don't want to do vows with you. Well, and that's the name of this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that off? Yeah, but like, I think it's fun to be able to trade those things and like, ha like have that like moment where it's like, you're gonna prepare yours, I'm yeah. gonna prepare mine. Yeah. We're gonna go come to the table and we'll see who- um, Not a competition. I think there's a little competitive spirit here. I don't think there is. Not because like who's gonna win, but like, I wanna be able to find the full range of like, I wanna like have the feel good moments. I wanna definitely make fun of us. And I also like want to- I'm not a good public speaker. I'm not terrible. Okay, you you flip flop back and forth on depending on on the, the the context and the conversation. You go from like, oh, I don't mind public speaking. Like, I'm pretty good at it. Like, it's fine. To like, I'm a bad public speaker. Pick a lane. I can read off of a teleprompter really well in front of any number of people. Like, it, that truly does not matter. It can be a set of 100 people. It can be on stage at like a wee day thing in front of thousands of people. You're literate. What? You're I'm literate. No, but like some people really struggle with that. You know what I mean? Just like having literacy? that many eyes. No. Right. Having- By the way, people do start, struggle with literacy. Yeah, of course. But yeah. like having that many eyes, it's not about the literacy. It's like having enough eyeballs on you that it makes you self-conscious. See, if there's not enough eyeballs on me, I don't really know if, if I want to read. Spoken like a true extrovert. <laughs> and that's not my issue. I yeah. just like- Okay, you say that, but if you told me that I needed to vlog a day by myself, no. Like speaking no. to a camera with no one else around and trying to like get through it. Because you need your audience. I need an audience because otherwise there's always a better way I could have said that thing. Right. Even if it's like, hey guys, good morning. Like, hey guys, good morning. But then you just do it hey again. Hey guys. No, I know. But like, you're like psychopathically good at that. Well, 10 years. That'll, that's what trauma on the internet will do to you. Yeah, but like, I don't know what day you woke up and were like, I'm going to be so efficient with my editor's time. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Like if I want a vlog to be 20 minutes, I'll try and send 22 minutes of footage. Yeah, you know, like you're, yeah. you're an editor's dream. I can imagine you like at the uh, the wedding, if like if it was being like recorded, you would like go into a line and you just like repeat it really quickly and just like not even think about how like, it's not going to be a jump cut. Right. It'd be kind of funny. Could be a jump cut though. Wedding videos get edited. What do you mean? Jump cut. Jump cut right. that shit. But I think the people that are there is probably more important for them than it is the ones that could see it somewhere else. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Unless there's a, a live stream sponsor for the uh, wedding, which, we'll, which we're open to. No, totally open we to. are not open to. We are not open to a live stream our wedding. The right price. That is fucked. The no, right price. absolutely not. The right price. Absolutely yeah. not. Um, uh, these are all dark scenarios. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Maybe, no. maybe not a live stream. You know what? A live stream sponsor really any time, not our favorite. Is no. Yeah. The, 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 How about a pay-per-view sponsor? No. Really? No. For a wedding? Yeah. What's wrong with you? How no. About ceremony? No. A billion dollars? No. $10 billion? No. $100 billion? No. $100 billion? Yeah, maybe. We'll maybe. just fake the fucking maybe. thing. Yeah. Jesus. Maybe. <laughs> God. Give the people what they want. Um, I'm not doing a vow off with you because there is no competition. Yours will for sure just be better. That's not true. What do you mean? See, I think that you will find a way to make it so uh, raw, cute and authentic and not strategic that it'll it'll blow anything that's like well-worded out of the water. Okay, great, I win. Then I win. That's so nice. Um, okay, let's talk about some other people's trauma <laughs> on their Valentine's Day. I just wanna say the general theme- I have you know with you. That's so nice. Yeah. Uh, there is a shocking theme of people getting broken up with on Valentine's Day. It's insane. I could not believe, I would say over half of the messages had to do with getting broken up with and a few people actually breaking up with their significant others on Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, admitting to do it. And Oh, fully admitting to do it. I have my theories. I think that it, you know what though, I guess I'm more surprised that people wouldn't just do it the day before. So, okay, uh, I'm gonna, okay, anything else? 
I just feel like people want to get out of the responsibility. If they, if they know that they're not committed, right. And they don't see the relationship going anywhere yeah. and they want their out to not have to like make the effort to do Valentine's day with that person. Yeah. You would think they would just do it the day before. So th- let's just, I'm going to, I'm going to put my, my ADHD hat on real quick. Mm-hmm. And for anyone at home, this is going to make a lot of sense to you or none. I can already feel it. Anybody with ADHD, anyone knows and relates to the the side journey. The side journey being if you had one thing to do in a day, right? It's, hey, I need to take the trash out, but I, I need to take it to like the neighbor's house, which is a couple blocks away, which will be annoying, but like I could do it whenever. If you're ADHD like me, and that's the one thing you had to do in a day, it will be 11.54 PM that day you will have reorganized your uh, soup containers. You will have uh, washed the thing that you didn't even know existed until you saw that it was dirty. And, you know, uh, spent uh, an hour on TikToks looking at any and everything else before you do that one task. It's just a, it's a, it's the way that we, we work. And I can only imagine that same thing applies to a much more important or different or emotional thing, which is, hey, maybe I should tell this uh, person that I've kind of been talking to that, this isn't working for me. And I know I need to do it before Valentine's day or like on Valentine's day. And uh, especially if they have like other plans or like don't want to do anything with them, they'll just continue to put it off until the literal last second. And that would for the ADHD folks be a great reason for why it took the very last moment before it happened to become the best idea to, well, I'll just put it off until I need to actually say it. Sure. That is so valid for the people that have ADHD. That is so valid. By, by the way, it's not, that's an excuse. the rest of them, what is their fucking problem? What is their problem? You would actually think that it'd be easier because listen, like if someone's a shithead and they want to like not do that and they might have a side hoe on the side. Right. Like you would think that it would just be easier to just like for, for you to be a shithead all around to break up with the person maybe on the 13th and then spend the 14th with your side. Okay, but to me, okay, to me, the 13th and the 14th, same thing. Because that, that is not the same thing. If it's okay, but if it's 13th, right? Okay, okay. The only reason you're doing it on the 13th yeah. is like because you got some other plans on the 14th. Right. But like if you got plans on the 14th, you probably didn't make them the 13th. If you got plans on the 14th, you probably didn't make them the 13th. Right. I mean, have you ever tried to get a reservation in the middle of the city? I know. For Valentine's Day? That's one of the things you're talking about on the on uh, Good Influence is that like, if you have a birthday that's on the 14th, one, it would be so annoying because people would always have plans on your birthday. Prefix and two, menus. Prefix menus and getting a reservation anywhere would be so hard. You would never celebrate on yeah. your actual birthday. That's why I decided the 22nd was best for me. To do it a little bit before. Yeah, I mean, that's why I chose August. There's yeah. really just not that much going on in August. Yeah. And so I can just have the whole month. You ever um, rewind your... Um, birthday back by nine months and figure out when your parents are fucking? No. No. Oh. Good as time as ever. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I do feel that. And I, I remember, well, we'll get into me later. I'd love to hear some of these other thoughts. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> my story is not anything that makes anyone feel good about me uh, per usual. Uh, that's, maybe we just keep that one to yourself. What's new? <laughs> okay, I had a gut feeling to check my ex's phone for the first time. And Oof. when someone's got the gut feeling, it's almost always right. When you got the feeling. When you got the feeling. When you know, you know. And when I looked at his recently deleted, I found a video of him getting his dick sucked. Wait, wait, Reason- oh, photos or yeah, videos. Yeah, videos, recently deleted. Also, like, is he fucking stupid? If he's gonna delete it, delete it like again from your recently deleted. Obviously he's stupid though, cause he's getting head from another girl while he's got a girlfriend. So like, you know what? No, no, Rhetorical no. question, is he stupid? That is, that's base level stupid. Yeah. The fact that he's like, let's get some incriminating evidence. While I'm at while it. I, while I'm cheating yeah. on my girlfriend. Why don't yeah. I just pop my let's, phone out and take a video? Let's make sure that this is provable for her. <gasps> Fucking idiot. Let's make sure that she doesn't lay, you know what? She trash. Was, she's probably thinking, trash, I don't want her to, to lay up at night wondering whether or not it happened. I want her to have a definitive answer. Yeah. The best part was that it only had one day left until it was going to be automatically deleted. He ah. even said it was an old video, even though it had a clear date on it. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yeah, that shit might've flied back in the days before metadata. So I think it was, uh, would have been 29, 29 days ago then? Yeah. Cause I think it deletes every 30 days. Yeah. It's like the default setting. What Thank- a fucking idiot. I mean. Men are trash. Uh, yeah, that's not great. I, there's no, Remember when I said like you're waiting for the last day thing? Yeah, that yeah. doesn't apply for him. No, we'll no, call no. him no. Uh, Chad. Chad doesn't get that excuse. Um, <laughs> some of these are just so like they're so ridiculous that they seem so unbelievable. But the worst part is that I know that they're not. I mean, the truth is always strange in the friction. Okay, friction. <laughs> 
truth is always stranger than fiction yeah. and sometimes friction. Yeah, but and sometimes friction. Thing. Instead of getting me anything for Valentine's Day, my ex decided to write a song on the ukulele and pass it off as his. That's like kind of nice. Right. For like the right person. Wait, my his her ex yeah. decided to write a song uh -huh. on, on the, the ukulele. ukulele and pass it off as his? Like to say that he's like, this is an original that I wrote for you. Oh, this is where this is going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it was like, this is- this It is, was Jack Johnson. I was like, is this it was not, Jack Johnson. I'm yours by Jason Moran. Yeah, and I found out myself, he didn't tell me, try to fully pass it off as his own song. That is holy. I mean, like, you know, for a fact, have two brain cells. What's wrong? It depends. What's um, wrong? Ha had he had he made that decision after having post nut clarity? Yeah, he would have known. He needed to change some things up. But here's the problem with that. This guy, he if he had just said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make a song yeah. recording that I love that I want to share with you," two thumbs up. A on the test. Or even like, hey, I spent the last couple of weeks learning this song because I, it really resonates with you and I's Couldn't relationship. Couldn't even find a microphone. No worries. Yeah. Even better, I wanna play it for you. I wanna play it for you. That, it's perfect. Instead, this guy goes, so I wrote this song. It's called Thriller. And <laughs> it's called Banana Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to uh, I want to play it for you now. Yeah. And uh, if you if you if you record it, just don't show any of your friends and tell them that I wrote it. Okay. The audacity. Like, you know that girl was like, you'll never guess. Um, but he did. Uh, uh, Jimmy, so Jimmy wrote me a song, and they're like, oh my god, I want to hear it. And I keep she plays it for her mm -hmm, friends. And they're like, mm -hmm. so that's banana pancakes well, by Jack Johnson. He wrote the song. Yeah. Well, two brain cells. Yeah. Two. That or Shazam really did him dirty. And I uh, was like, yeah, that's close enough. A hundred percent. Oh my yeah. God, just the audacity. I can't, I can't with men. That's a boy. That's not a man, that's no, a boy. There's there's nothing quite like the confidence of a, a, a horny adolescent <laughs> male. Um, okay, here we go. Here's here's uh, one where the horror story was kind of, uh, was her fault. Um, okay, so my boyfriend at the time had just gotten an Oculus VR and I accidentally ate a super strong THC edible. I didn't realize how many milligrams were just in one edible. <laughs> Been there. And it kicked in when I started playing. I felt like I was losing my mind and I ate an entire Domino's pizza and slept for 15 hours before it wore off. <laughs> Is this me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Honest mistake. I, I literally, I, I can't tell you just Honest how much I feel. Honest mistake. Yeah, I ate, about a, I ate a bag of weed popcorn once. My God, I was high I for a week. I can hear this though, if this was, reverse and like the girl had had an incredible date planned and like a, a romantic evening. And then the boyfriend accidentally ate the edible and slept for 15 hours. <laughs> yep. So hopefully he didn't have a night Hold planned. on, let me do what you do. Boys are stupid, they're trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. And I actually want your- Wait, we didn't get to the end of that. What do you mean? Did she skip, did she, did she miss the date? She slept for 15 hours. Of course she missed the date. She woke up on February 28th. <laughs> Got it. So that math, I just want to be very clear, is a doobie math. Yeah, no, no, we'll, yeah. Just, we'll leave that where it lies. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so this was not her husband's ideas, but she spent her first Valentine's Day with her husband at Hooters. My husband is active duty. So this is our first Valentine's Day together in the same place. And as a married couple, my father-in-law came to visit. We picked him up from the airport. He was adamant that we needed to go to Hooters for their wings. This was two years ago. My yeah. Every this, guy ever. This was two years ago, and I give my husband shit for it every year for not objecting more. Well, first off, she sounds like the real one. She's great. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But but if this would if this was me, yeah, I would expect you to handle that situation. So, so it that, was. It would have been my parent. It's your dad. Oh. It's your dad. I well, think she's totally right in that she is allowed to be mad at you. For not reining that one in. For not reining that one in. It is it is the responsibility of yes. the child yes. to- To rein in the parent in. To set boundaries yes. that don't- And you know what's outside the boundaries? Hooters. I, yeah. Hooters. And I know that every fucking dude loves to be like, the wings are so good at Hooters. Let's, I go to Hooters for the wings. The just, wings are just top notch. All right, real quick. Let me just talk to the guy I told you real quick. <laughs> this isn't for you, this isn't for anybody else. Guys, we can't keep this lie up for very much longer. The wings? No, this is like- Are the, so the men, mediocre. The, the men are talking, all right, all four of us, all okay. Four of you. Uh, we really should move on. Um, Find something else. It's also like, uh, I saw an article the other day talking about how boobs are out now. So like Hooters is having a hard time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like, mm. when did boobs go out? Did I miss that press memo? No, but I'm fucking stoked. That's great for me.
Uh, yeah, no, I was, the, I mean, obviously with the rack. The absolute rack. Now that me and Remy both have massive titties, um, we just like love being like, uh, or I love being like, uh, it's so exhausting having such big boobs and just being part of the massive titty, titty friend committee. group. Committee. <laughs> committee. Come committee. on. Yes, I know. Um, yeah. I, the big titty committee. I, I, I can't relate with that level of... Um, Mm, it's hard to even put an adjective on it, mostly because my dad wouldn't be anywhere near us on Valentine's Day right. or most days. But uh, the the key part here is that that was avoidable. That was 100% avoidable. And it just proves to me how great their relationship is that she can make fun of him for every single Valentine's Day for the rest of their lives yeah. because of it. Yeah, no, 100%. Good, for, good she, for both she, of them. Good for both of them. And he should have done better. Yeah. The, the next photo in my camera roll is Jeremy just having the worst time. I love getting pedicures. I think they're quite relaxing and fun. The next photo in my camera roll is Jeremy having the worst time of his life, suffering through getting his little cuticles. This thing? We're going to put this on screen so everyone can enjoy oh, it. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Don't, don't clip this. Don't, don't, this don't. is, this is the, yeah, that's, that's just you having a grand old time. Were my thighs that far out? Uh, no yeah. No one did it. No one told me. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy's got the four inch shorts on that day. It looks In like. what world did I think that I could pull those off when I was getting a pedicure? That's a whole leg. That's like the top portion of the leg that doesn't even have hair on it. Uh, well, I assure you, you get close enough. There's hair. Um, wow. I, uh, someone should reel me in at some point. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It's yeah. You're being such a baby. Oh, it's, it's so relaxing. She had to scrape three fucking layers off of my foot. Yeah, but it's not painful. No, but like- You're you know, being such a bye bay. Yeah, but like I've got like concrete skin down there. No, I understand. I understand. Whatever. Um, okay, another one where she is the problem. She said, it's me. I'm the horror story. I'm a Valentine's Day baby. So I ruined it for my parents pretty much forever. Nothing says I love you like having a C-section for your nine and a half pound baby. She didn't request to come into the world. That's true. That's not her fault. You're yeah. right. This isn't her fault. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Her parents shouldn't have been having sex nine, in nine. May. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah. Yeah. June. June. July. June. Hard to say. June. Um, yeah, that yeah, you're so right. That's the parents' fault. Yeah. They should have timed that properly. Also, they could have asked the doctor right, but that was doing the C section to do it the thirteenth, the fifteenth. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I don't know if that's how that works, but. I'm not entirely yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I couldn't be less educated on that, that topic. Okay, does it count that I broke up with my fiance on Valentine's Day? I decorated his car, which was actually my car. This this has a lot of this has a lot of levels to it. Okay, so I decorated his car, which was actually my car. I'm, I'm trying to, in my, my head, um, create. This. Am, no, the, the animation that Swoozy would do mm, for this. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah. failing, but I'm trying. Well, he was at work trying to make more money to pay for our wedding. And when he called me that night, I broke it off over text because that's the only way one of us could get a word in over the other. So it's me, LOL, I'm the horror. I feel like she's being a little hard on herself there. I mean, she I, feels like something that you probably shouldn't say over text, but. But I understand that like, if you're just screaming at each other on the phone and no one's actually saying anything that's like, like uh, audible that sometimes a text might have to be the, you know, that's not obviously the, the path that people, yeah. the preferable path. But if you're screaming at the other person and you can't make out anything the other person is saying, yeah. what are you gonna do? Like write, write a note, like make a sign, it's over, uh, pack your shit. Unsure. Give me my car back. At the end of the day, like all, for those things, like it's like, there's no great way to break off an engagement outside no. of like, well, you know what? The only way that you go wrong there is not breaking it off. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And obviously it couldn't wait until February 15th. Yeah. So a while back, there was a uh, a submission about how someone had been together for many years. And then after a year of marriage, they broke it off. Mm -hmm. Going back to our last point here. Mm -hmm. And even worse scenario, because that means that they paid for the wedding. They paid for it. They did everything. Yeah. And she wrote in and followed up after we covered it. Uh -huh. And she said, <gasps> um, I need y'all to know I was a submission that said my big, biggest risk was getting a divorce after getting married after a year. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 when we talked about like, what's yes. the biggest risk you've taken? Yes. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, So okay. our biggest risk was getting divorced after getting married after a year um, of being married, but having been together for nine. That's right, okay, yeah, I remember yeah. this specific submission. And she said, it was in fact a fantastic decision. You hit the nail on the head. Engagement and marriage felt like the next step that we had to do. Right. And felt like it would be, uh, it would be there to fix everything. And it was simply not the right one. 
While a lot of judgment and questions came from the divorce, I couldn't be happier with the decision. Him and I are both in new relationships that we are much happier in. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Sounds like what a mature way to approach that as well too. Cause totally. obviously it was best for both of them. But it's, I mean, there's a, there's a thousand. And honestly, like I'm just relieved that they didn't try and like do the third thing in that process, which is have a baby to fix things. Right. That's more permanent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, you can change your last name back. You can. Oh man, this one's a little messy. I love it though. Okay, when I was 18, I was talking to some guys on Tinder trying to find a little hookup. I love that, I love that energy. Long story short, I met this guy who wanted to bring me back to his place and cook or whatever. So he comes <laughs> to pick me up. No guys ever wanted to go back to his place to cook. Or whatever. No, but if she's looking for a hookup, that's a bonus. If you're gonna, if he's gonna cook and then you can get your hookup, that's like best of both worlds. If that's what like you want. Yeah, no, I just feel like this dude's, if any guy is like, come back to my spot, I'll cook and then we can hang out. Yeah. That's strategy, like he didn't just come up with that on the spot. Oh, no, 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 of course he's, not. He's, he's adding, to me though, when you, a guy puts up like, is ready or mm -hmm. is, is almost too thoughtful or is too prepared, I'm sketched out. Okay, and this is why it is goddamn impossible for girls to date. I'm, I'm sketched because, out. Because like, if, oh, if they're too, if they're too, I, I mean, I think I said that about you and I was like, he's too mature, question mark, mm. at the beginning? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, they're, they're too immature and- I'm gonna wind up in his freezer. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna, yeah, exactly, right. It's yeah. uh, the whole thing is, is just yeah, so it. complicated, what yeah. a mess. Okay. Um, okay, so he comes to pick me up, pretends to call someone and says, oh, sorry, we can't go back to my place. So my little 18 year old ho self decides that's fine. We park somewhere secluded nearby. He then asks, and this is just straight up prostitution. He then asks me if he can pay me $35 to nut in me. That's not even enough for a plan B where I live. I ended up walking home. Why 35? Like, is that all you had? Like, there's such a funny random number. But see, this is my issue. It goes from <laughs> like, um, why don't we come to my spot? I'm gonna cook I'm gonna for cook you. And this to, you know what? Now can I pay you to nut in you? Right. Right. I, um, Trash. this is, this is why, Trash. this is why you can't trust a man with a plan. You, you yeah. can, but also even if he didn't have a plan, he just had $35. Uh, to me, even just knowing you have $35 in your wallet. Is too much of a plan. Yeah. For this guy. Can you imagine if he's like, do you like do Venmo or Zelle? Yeah. Or <laughs> can I, how much can I Venmo you so that I can nut in you? I just can't like, my, my only fear with that is that that's worked once. Like the thought, the fact that he's like. Well, the fact that he was like, you know what? I'm gonna just give it a go. I'm yeah. gonna give it a shot. I guess, no, Let's I roll the dice. Although there's always the first time for everything. Don't get me wrong. I think sometimes you forget the fact that like, if someone's so bold to be like, you know what? I was gonna do my, my famous couscous, mm -hmm. but I can't do that. Instead. I like to couscous in you. And maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, let me just like rummage around. I would like, like to couscous in you. I, I just don't feel like that. Come here, come here, yay. Yeah, come here, come here, yeah, yeah. I just don't think that like, that was his first attempt at that. And my only fear is that it, it has is that worked. It's worked at some point. Yeah. Oh man. And maybe it never has. And he's just like, just seen how long you can strike out. God, that's just offensive. Okay, here's another one. It's not really, oh wait. This guy I was dating for like three months faked his own motorcycle accident because he got, because we got into a fight. He pretended to be his dad texting me off of a random number saying he was on his deathbed. He kept it up for three days until I called every hospital in the state to see if he was there. It was all a lie just because we got into a fight that I was 30 minutes late to something. Also, this is why you just, you can't lie to a girl. We will find out. We will know. Well, also such an extravagant lie. And just in what world, in what world? It's like he saw that happen in a movie one time and he was like, oh, this will get me out of it for sure. For sure, she'll have yeah. no questions for this. Yeah, she'll have no questions. Yeah, you know. Oh my God, well, you know what? Since we were fighting anyway, and now you're potentially in the hospital for the rest of your life, I'll just end it here. I can't, I can't. Just yeah. like the things that men will do to get out of communication. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, two points for creativity. My ex broke up with me after cheating on me with someone that he claimed was his cousin. What, why is this not the first time that we've heard a fucking submission like this? You know, there's a curveball there. It's always the cousin. Yeah, but you're like, you're like, you know what? I think it's, it's I'm, I haven't been faithful and you know, because you know, it's my cousin. It's my cousin, never, I would never do anything. I just like, can you imagine like handing somebody that nugget of information on the way out? I can't. I can't, I literally just glitched in like frustration. And now we're gonna have 17 comments telling us that it's not that bad. <laughs> Fuck your cousin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't understand what my town looks like. <laughs> On Valentine's day, this happened and he gave my presents to his guy best friend to give away. So I didn't get presents and found out that I got cheated on all in a day. And it was with his 
well, no, it's not his cousin. He claimed it was his cousin. Or was it even the cousin? No, it's not the cousin. It's someone that I'm sure he was like, no, you don't have to worry about her. She's my cousin. I would never, but it's not actually the cousin. And then he ended up fucking the cousin, except Man, for not the cousin. This guy was doing in work. Like he, he was pre-cheating before he was, he was pre-cheating. even cheating. He was hundred percent pre-cheating. He was pre-cheating. Yeah. He was, like he knew where it was going to end before it even got there. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. And so you say guys don't have a plan. Okay. This is um, the longest submission and the most, this, this ha- again has a lot of like, just buckle up. Mm. Love an onion. So I got dumped a few days before Valentine's Day. So I was on my wild girl shit, never touched tequila in my life, but I decided to down two (laughs) bottles to myself on Valentine's Day. Also, Mm -hmm. when it says two bottles, I'm like, okay, is this like a handle? Is it a Mickey? Is it a 26er? You've never touched tequila before and you do two bottles of any size? Is it too many travels? Like what what are the bottle size? Either way, glad she's still alive. Yeah. Ended up sleeping with a guy I had just met in the back of his car. But midway through, he got so hot, he wanted to put their air conditioner on, jumped up over the back seats, butt ass naked looking for his keys, giving me a full sweaty moon. Afterwards, he bought me nuggies and took me home. I hobbled up my driveway, only wearing one shoe, the other still being in his car, and then proceeded to spend the next 72 hours violently unwell. Whilst being sick, I kept shouting at my nan, dirty dog, because while I could still vision envision his sweaty crack in my face, I let homeboy keep my other shoe because I refused to see him again with the image, with the image he had burnt into my brain. Happy Valentine's Day to me. That sounds kind of like a win, to be honest. For the memes. They say- For the plot line. Well, they say romance is dead, number one. I mean, the man was starting on the AC. That's great. Two, I think that it is completely within both people's right Mm -hmm. to not make the first move when either returning or um, asking for, like, a shoe after a one night stand. <laughs> and listen, he bought her nuggies on the way home. Chivalry? Not dead. Not dead. Uh, he far- put the AC on and bought her nuggies? That's what I'm saying. Two for two. Happy Valentine's Day. In case you're wondering <laughs> where the bar is, it's right It there. is on the ground. No, I just, you know, there's, <laughs> to me, if you're in your single go crazy, try tequila for the first time phase. Yeah. That's a memory that we can all look back and laugh on. For the plot line. Right. For the plot line. Right. In fact, if you don't have one or two of those stories, right. by the time you lock yourself down with somebody, mm-hmm. I fear you didn't experience the world enough. It makes me happy to know too, that like we as a community can all get enjoyment from the plot line. You know what I mean? Like obviously right. it's a fond memory <laughs> for her, fond-ish memory I just, for her. I can imagine like this dude just like balancing on the middle fucking just console, trying to get his keys over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, turn, turn the AC on. See, like, and here's the th- you know thing. You know, grind my gears. What grind Kids these days been? will never know what it's like to actually have to put a physical a key, key into the ignition into and the turn it. Yeah, my Toyota Camry from 2001 <laughs> was not going to turn the AC on if I was over here with these keys. I had, I would have had to also balance my dick probably up against my stomach, just kind of leaning over here, Jeremy, asshole Jeremy, in the air. So Jeremy confirming that he does in fact not have a micropenis. Micropenis definitely don't reach the stomach, just. You, wise. you put those two, two yeah. together before I did. Sure. Point, point of it, like, there's nothing quite like watching a a, a, a grown man mm-hmm. stretch mm-hmm. for something mm-hmm. while he's naked. <laughs> <laughs> Even just that vision of like thinking about you bending over to like pick something off the ground being naked. You know, like I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> like I want my extremities as close to their nap. Yeah, like where, where gravity exactly. hits me is where right. I want to be it's, naked. <laughs> the moment that this starts to happen, like God knows what could happen. Why is that so funny to picture? Oh yeah, my God. I, it's like, you're just like Gumby, but naked. Uh, okay. Tall, long yeah. boy. No, it's it's not, it, I'm not fighting back because I don't think it's accurate. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you have anything else you want to talk about? <laughs> uh, nope, that's about it. I, um, I hope everybody had a good Valentine's Day. Or yeah. is going to have a good Valentine's Day. Yeah. Uh, we've got some pretty cool shit coming up pretty. Did you know that Cupid was like a, like a whole Adam and Eve situation, like was supposed to be like born out of just like pff magic. Pff magic? Yeah. It's like beatbox? Yeah. Pff magic? Mm-hmm. Pff ma- uh, go say more. Cupid, Cupid was-, was Like St. Valentine or just Cupid? Cupid like, was born, like you know how Cupid's a baby? Isn't he a cherubim? I'm sorry, what are you saying? A cherub? A cherubim? Cher- what are you saying at the end? Why are you adding an M on the end of it? it a, cherub? a cherub, yeah. Isn't it a cherubim as well? What's a bim? Just hi- hold your horses, hold on. <laughs> cherubim? That sounds like a made up word. I mean, I could definitely be wrong 100%. Oh, you about to fucking oh, no. get it. Oh, oh you about to get no. it. A winged angelic being described in biblical tradition oh. as attending on God. What's good? So there is cherubs and cherubim as well. What the fuck's a cherubim? So cherubim. Yeah, well, I know what a cherub is. A winged angel. 
Why would they add a bim on the end of it? Sounds well, like bum. I, I don't, I didn't make up the Greek or Latin language. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I know. I don't, I think, uh, no, never mind. I think. Is Cupid a cherub? Yeah, Cupid's a cherub, but I think he's a Jesus cherub. Okay, go on. I can't wait to hear whatever comes out of your mouth next. <laughs> no, he was, he was uh, like a, what's it called when uh, like a, a Jesus figure is born without having sex? The Virgin Mary, what? Yeah, basically. Wait, so what? He was just like brought into the world without sex. So he's asexual or? No, no, not asexual. That there was, said he doesn't. There was no, con like there was no, no okay. one. Oh, oh, it, uh, the immaculate uh, uh, conception? Yes, 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 mm, yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. But he, Cupid's a boy? Yeah. Okay. A bebe, a cherub. Right, okay. So no one had sex. No. Uh, Cupid was born. Boy Cupid appears. Yes. And then what happens? And then he shoots his arrow into people to make them fall in love. So uh, the the being and organi organism that was brought into the world without love yes. is the one that is supposed to make other people fall in love? Isn't that crazy? The irony is, is, is not is, lost on I me. I know, I know. Okay. And where did you hear this fact from? Um, uh, my last Valentine's Day podcast episode I recorded. Yeah, was that so? Yeah. Is this a Matt King fact? No, no, no. I was Matt King, remember on the podcast? You were Matt King? I was Matt King. Got it. Uh, and I do see some similarities. We, we both have psoria we're psoriasis. We're psoriasis sisters. <laughs> this is why you should always let your fiance have male friends because things like that get said. No, I want to be very clear. Mia is actually my psoriasis sister. And it's and not- Are you still taking back off the psoriasis sister roster? No, maybe Matt can be a psoriasis sister. Have you asked him? No. I think he'd probably appreciate it. I think he would too. Um, he can be a psoriasis sister. Did you have any, where you wanted to go with that fun fact? No, I just wanted to say that the little love- stupid cherubim or whatever the fuck you called it, was cherubim. born without love. Okay. Maybe he was loved. Kids without love would mm -hmm. probably spend the rest of their life trying to find it, so, or or create it. And shooting people down with a bow and arrow? Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't have been the visual that I, I went with had I been writing the story, but right. you know, I'm yeah. not gonna sit here and-, and Pretty and confusing. The screenwriters, I'm sure yeah. made those decisions based off of some advertising mm -hmm. at the time. Do you like conversation hearts? Sorry, what? Do you like conversation hearts, the candy? You don't get to say, oh, got it. You, you're like, I thought you were just doubling down on like, you know, like conversation hearts. Uh, no, the candy. I think they might be one of the most overrated. Uh, I don't think they're that. Candy. I don't, I don't think that they're, they're, I don't think people generally like them. Sure, but why did every year people buy them? Because they're cute. They look nice. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not that like I don't like yeah. things that look nice. That's just like, to me- To me, they kind of fall into the same category as candy corn, but I want to be very clear that I love candy corn and yeah. conversation hearts, I think are a little just like weird and chalky and like gummy in uh, like yeah, a weird like, way. There's like formaldehyde and like For candy corn. For sure. Yeah. Oh, and from, uh, oh, and candy corn, yeah, yeah. guaranteed, 100%. Yeah. And My you, favorite time of the year. Yeah, no, Lauren won't <laughs> be here long. No. Um, I, yeah, no, I, I, it, if I'm not, not, not going to yuck your yum. Yeah. Um, do you want some conversation hearts or? No, I was just, I feel like that's like the the number one, uh, like. I'm more of a chocolate guy yeah. for like Valentine's Day. You're right, you're not a candy guy. Yeah. You're really not a candy I mean, like, guy. I'll eat candy, but like, I'm not like all that interested in just like straight sugar. Mm. Yeah. Love sugar. Big oh, fan. we know. We Big know. Fan. Um, feel free to, in the comments below, um, share more Valentine's Day stories or what you're doing or what you're not doing. Uh, I, I think it's a, a wonderful day for people to celebrate if they want to, or if you want to be, you know, uh, on the national singles awareness day or whatever mm -hmm, the fuck it's called, mm -hmm. love that too. Or it can just be a day. It can just be February 14th. It doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be Valentine's day. It doesn't have to be Galentine's day. It doesn't have to be anti-Valentine's day. It can just be fucking February 14th. It, I, Galentine's day gets me every time. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. You know what? I think it's, um, wherever you're at this year. Have a good I day. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, but most importantly, I hope you enjoy your day in Latvia. Wow, that was, couldn't have had less response to that. I have to sneeze, but I lost it. Let's just, let's just give you a moment. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Lafayette, it was good to hang out with you this week. Uh, next week, we've got, I think, a surprise. We got a 50-50. I, I would say, yeah, about a 50-50 chance of our guest showing up um, in a couple of days when we record. So hopefully- I am going to give her 60-40. Here's a hint. She's doing the hard 75 right now. And so I think that that ups our chances. I think so too. I think oh, so too. I, th I looked at her Instagram right now. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I, I think she's, I think she's gonna be here. I think so too. And, and it's gonna be one Let's of the most- Let's call it 75-25. No, 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 you said 50. Let's start at where you started. I was the one who's more optimistic about it. I'm, I feel good, I feel good, 75-25. Well, uh, we'll find out next week, the next time you see us. Until then, have a good week. Bye. Bye.